Number 12. Hippos are hungry, hungry tanks. They have a combination of physical gifts that allow them to outmatch just about anything that gets in their way. According to Animal Planet, hippos are the third largest living land mammal, behind elephants and some rhinos. They can grow up to 16 feet long. Average female can get up to 1,500 pounds, while the biggest of the males can put on 2,500. That's nine and a half Dwayne Johnsons to every one hippo. And don't be fooled by their size. When a hippo sprints, it can reach 19 miles an hour. They're hyper aggressive and extremely territorial. They're responsible for killing 500 people in Africa each year. If disturbed, a hippo won't hesitate to go after a lion or a crocodile. Number 11. There are several reasons why the bull shark is frequently regarded as one of the most dangerous animals on Earth. For one, it's happy swimming in both fresh and salt water, and it gravitates towards shallow waters. This means that it swims where we do. For two, bull sharks are exceptionally aggressive. Unlike other sharks, which need to be provoked to attack, bull sharks have a very low threshold before they exhibit aggression. For three, they're not very picky eaters, which means that just about anything is on the menu. And despite being about half the size as a tiger shark or a great white, the bull shark can plow through their opponents with crazy power. These fearless things are not afraid to go after big game. They're on bad terms with hippos because these sharks have a bad reputation for going after young hippos. Number 10. Up next is the animal with the most powerful bite force on the planet, crocodiles. Crocs have the notorious reputation for being the most aggressive animal in the world. According to the BBC, crocodiles kill about a thousand humans per year, which is a lot more than sharks. People swim with sharks all the time, but they'll rarely hop in the water with crocodiles. That's because these giant reptiles are aggressive, unpredictable, and opportunistic eaters. Between one third and one half of crocodile attacks are fatal, which means that you have better odds of walking away from a round of Russian roulette than you do from walking away from a croc attack. Not only will they eat you, but they'll enjoy it. During World War II, at the Battle of Romri Island, as many as 400 of the 500 Japanese casualties are attributed to crocodiles. Recently, one crocodile, who was given the name Gustav, allegedly killed 300 people. With 64 razor-sharp teeth, these cold-blooded killers have been known to go after wild boar, water buffalo, and even lions. Crocodiles will wait for them to get a drink at the water's edge and then strike from below the surface with lightning speed. Number 9. Rhinos are short-sighted, bad-tempered, and shockingly quick. These tanks are 6,000 pounds of unpredictable power that can charge down any perceived threat at 35 miles an hour. And at the business end of one of their attacks is a two-foot horn. The main reason behind their aggressiveness is actually their poor eyesight. Because they can't see anything, they just assume everything is a threat and attack. The rhino's motto is, when in doubt, charge. Number 8. It may come as a surprise to some that the world's most aggressive bear isn't the grizzly or even the polar bear. In fact, it's the Asian black bear. When this bear attacks, it rears up on its hind legs and strikes with its paws. The bear's strategy is to knock over its victim so that it can go for the arms or the head. One horrific story of Asian black bear aggression comes from May 7, 2013, when a group of these bears attacked villages in Odisha, India. They killed eight people and injured many more. The theory is that many Asian black bears carry this extreme aggression because they share their habitat with tigers. These tigers are the largest and heaviest of the big cats. And to survive an encounter with these kitties, you have to be tough. Asian black bears live in the Himalayas, the northern portion of the Indian subcontinent, 
parts of the Russian Far East, Japan, and Taiwan. The biggest bear on record weighed 440 pounds. Number seven. Coming up next is a powerful pipsqueak whose fearless aggression was the inspiration for everyone's favorite X-Men. The name Wolverine descends from a German phrase meaning devours much, which is certainly fitting for this animal. Wolverines are omnivorous and they'll eat anything they come across, from berries to caribou. So how can a 40 pound Wolverine take down a caribou? No, they don't have adamantium bones but they do have crazy strong jaws and ridiculously sharp teeth. This combination allows them to take down animals that outweigh them by hundreds of pounds. Wolverines have semi-retractable claws and very large paws, which can act like snowshoes. They're also surprisingly sneaky. Wolverines are known to hunt by climbing trees and then pouncing on the backs of their prey. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hope you're liking the video. If you haven't already, let's take this relationship to the next level. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll never miss any of our newest content and it really helps the channel. You're great. Number six. We humans have a totally justifiable natural anxiety towards snakes. So why are black mambas one of the most feared? Well, not only is a bite from the black mamba capable of taking down a human in seven hours, but this serpent is also highly aggressive and very fast. It can move up to 12 miles per hour when chasing down a threat. Most venomous snakes tend to flee or hide when larger animals come around. When it's approached, the black mamba will raise its head high off the ground as much of 40% of its body will be vertical. This upright posture allows it to strike at a human's chest. And they don't just bite once. They're working with a multi-strike attack. With each bite, the black mamba injects a large amount of venom. So the recovery from a mamba attack can be complicated. Number five. Next up is a tiny tyrant that stands less than one foot tall. But as all my girlfriends keep assuring me, size doesn't matter. The honey badger is a miniature menace, but it makes up for that tiny frame with a bad attitude. The honey badger has been called the world's most fearless animal because it doesn't hesitate to attack animals that are three, four, even five times its size. This bold badger has been observed picking fights with crocodiles. Honey badgers are found in grasslands, savannas, and even rainforests. They live in burrows that they dig in the ground. They have long front claws that are great for both digging and defense. The honey badger also engages in chemical warfare. <laughs> they have a gland at the base of their tail that stores some sinister liquid that's said to rival the skunk. A honey badger will eat anything it gets its claws on. We're talking birds, reptiles, insects, fruits, it's all good. It's actually a pretty well-balanced diet. Probably how they keep the honey weight off. Number four, don't be fooled for a second by that lovable animated boar, Pumbaa, and his no worries philosophy, Hakuna Matata. If you find yourself squaring off with a wild boar, you should Matata, a lot. Wild boar may not seem dangerous, but they're highly unpredictable and have a very violent nature. Wild boars are the proud owners of razor sharp tusks that they use as a primary weapon when agitated. Along with their razor sharp tusks, boars have razor sharp minds. Most research groups rate boars in the top five smartest animals on the planet. The sharpness of their tusks, the heaviness of their body, and their aggressive nature have resulted in some devastating attacks on humans. Hunters are encouraged to pick a climbing tree if they're ever hunting boar. This way they'll have something nearby that they can climb just in case the hunter becomes the hunted. Number three. Next up is a large African animal that has the super fun nickname, the Black Death. Cape Buffalo are unpredictable, aggressive, and one of the top tramplers of humans in Africa. When disturbed, the Cape Buffalo will attack anything, 
including lions. Their primary weapon, and arguably their most impressive feature, are their thick horns. Using these large horns, the Cape Buffalo can charge and tear through just about any other animal like single-ply toilet paper. Number 2. Hornets have a well-established reputation for aggressive behavior. A sting from a hornet is more painful to humans than any other wasp. And hornets know that there's power in their numbers. When a hornet feels threatened, it releases what's known as an attack pheromone. This pheromone alerts the rest of the colony that their buddy is in trouble and that he needs backup. It's like when Captain America says, Avengers assemble. Or when Beyonce says, ladies, get in formation. <laughs> You're gonna get swarmed on all sides. It's super dangerous to be on the receiving end of a hornet swarm, and it can even be fatal if you're allergic to their stings. If you're curious about the biggest and baddest of the hornets, look no further than the Asian giant hornet. If the Asian giant hornet is the rock, then the rest of the hornets are Kevin Hart. This is the world's largest species of hornet, and it delivers more venom per sting than any other insect. Each year in Japan, 30 to 40 people lose their lives due to stings from this hornet. These hornets are at the tippy top of the insect food chain. They eat other hornets, honeybees, and even praying mantises. Number one. There's plenty of gorilla aggression to go around, and it's mostly directed at other gorillas. Gorillas live in groups with one dominant male, known as the silverback. The silverback controls several females and some youngsters. If another male approaches and tries to take the place as the top gorilla, then it's on. Many silverbacks are covered in scars from past encounters with creepy males. And gorillas are outrageously strong. According to GorillaFacts.org, a gorilla is nine times stronger than the average human. They can easily bend iron bars or tear down entire banana trees with their bare hands. And their bite strength is stronger than that of the great white shark and the lion put together. Not surprisingly, some of the losers of a gorilla scuffle don't survive at all. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, you'll love the one we did on the world's most destructive animals. You can find that right here. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button over there and check back soon for a new video. Bye.